Welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I am Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Winning. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about the anatomy of the knee. A little late, since we've been talking about a lot of pathology around the knee, and now we're just going to start with the, what is the knee. But Some people had some questions, and we thought that it was important to backtrack a little bit and just kind of start from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So I have a handy model. Nice. So, so let's start. So first we'll start with the bones. The two main bones that make up the knee are the femur on the top and the tibia on the bottom. Your fibula is a long skinny bone on the outside that kind of is involved in the knee, but really the, the two workhorses of the knee are the tibia and the femur. Be careful not to call the tibia and the fibula the tibula. Or the fibia. Okay. Tibia, fibula, femur. Yes. Paul, what else makes up the knee? Well, you've got these two three bones that come together to make a joint and something has to hold them together so fortunately we have some ligaments that hold them together you've got your medial collateral ligament MCL it's a very common one to sprain or injure medial means inside lateral collateral ligament which is on the other side lateral means on outside. the outside and then inside the knee you've got the ACL and the PCL, the anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament. So those four ligaments hold these bones together to render them into a hinged type joint. Yeah, the collaterals preventing side to side motion and the cruciate ligaments preventing your knee from either going forward or going back and often commonly injured. We've talked about that in some of our other videos. So ACL and MCL are the two most commonly ligaments that are injured, most commonly injured ligaments in the knee. The two other important structures that live inside of the knee would be the meniscus. Again, there's one on the inside called your medial meniscus, one on the outside called your lateral meniscus. They're kind of shaped like a donut. Um, they're thick on the outside and they taper in to be quite thin on the inside. And the blood supply, interestingly, comes from the outside and goes to the inside, so commonly when they're torn, they don't heal very well, and that's why often they require an operation. And we've talked about that in some of our other videos. Right, and the purpose of the menisci, which is plural for meniscus, is the, um, the femur is quite curved, the end of the femur, and the top of the tibia is quite flat. So if you imagine if you just had a curved, curved surface loading a flat surface, it would be a very high stress at the contact point. So the meniscus acts to distribute that load so you're not having a high pressure point from the curved femur onto the relatively flatter tibia. The other thing I think that's important to talk about is inside the knee on the ends of the bones, the ends of the bones are covered with cartilage. So um, cartilage is the thing that um, allows the bones to move smoothly on top of each other and as it wears away that's what leads to arthritis. That's the definition of arthritis is loss of your cartilage and eventually if you lose all of the, all the cartilage you can end up with something called bone on bone arthritis which is a lay term for severe arthritis that right. leads to other problems. Right, so cartilage lets the bones slide over each other smoothly. The menisci, medial meniscus and lateral meniscus are also made of cartilage, a slightly different type of cartilage but also made of cartilage. So I've had patients come in and say I tore my cartridge. It's not a cartridge, it's cartilage. Okay? And they can tear and you can damage the cartilage on the surface as well. I think the only other thing that we'd say is the muscles that allow our knee to move. The ones in the front are your quadriceps muscles, so it's, a, it's four muscles that come by a common tendon to insert on your patellar tendon, which has been removed from this model, but still you can see here, four muscles come in along the tendon and then a a ten another tendon, actually a ligament, connects the patella to the tibia called your patellar ligament. So your quadriceps allow you to extend your knee, the muscles in the back called your hamstrings, those are the ones that allow you to bend or flex your knee. Right, and so that's the other important part of the knee is the patella, which is the bone that lives inside this extensor mechanism. So if you break it down, you've got three compartments in the knee, the medial compartment, on the inside, the lateral compartment on the outside, and the patella femoral compartment under the patella where the patella slides on top of the femur. There you go, a basic introduction to the anatomy of the knee. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions please email us or leave a comment. And if you like this video or found it helpful please like us on YouTube or subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. And remember you are in charge of your own health. All right, I like it. That was a good quickie, eh? Yeah.